Okay, I'm going to continue to make this test site look like Barry North's test site at the end of Chapter 4. And in doing so, um, I want to talk about a couple other things. Um, if I click on Home here, right, you see here I've got the test site with a couple of things here. I'm going to go to my Article Manager and make Blue Widgets no longer show up on the front page. Another thing that he has on his site is he has an article called Services. I deleted it forgetting that I actually needed it, so I'll create it again. I'll just call it Our Services, and I'm going to leave it uncategorized, okay? And I'll say, here are our services, dot, 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 hello, class. Okay, um, I'll save that. And now I've got this article called Our Services, and I want to make a menu link for it. So I'll go to Menus, Main Menu. Now notice I did not give, make it part of a section or a category, it's just uncategorized. So it's not part of a section or a category. So anyway, in the Main Menu Manager, I'll hit New for New Menu Link, Articles, and this will just be to one article. So it's an article layout, and then I'll select the article, Our Services, and I'm going to title the link Our Services. In the book, he just calls it Services. Okay, and I'll hit Save. All right, and now if we go to the front page of the site, we look, we see it shows up, and it's good, but it shows up at the bottom if you click on it, it goes to our services but I need it to be right after about us so what I'll do is two ways to do this take this our services or there's actually more than two ways to do this I can just click this little up arrow and that'll move it up and I'll click up again and now there it is it should be all good so now if I refresh this window you'll see it's now third down so services and then Dan's blogs um, Dan's blog, remember, is a category blog layout. I wanted to show you really briefly if I click on Dan's blog in the menu item manager and I could change the type and change it to category instead of blog layout which shows me the all the articles that are in this category I'll do the list layout so you can see what that looks like. So list layout, select category, Dan's blog, hit save right and now if I go back to home and click Dan's blog you'll see now it's a list layout of the different articles that all have the same category Dan's blog so it show all the articles in the category now I could click on one of these articles and then read the article okay but that's not what I wanted so from I go to the menu item I'm in the menu item manager and change the type of menu item back to category blog layout and of course when I do that I have to reselect which category it is we want to link to Let's save so now that's good click home and that should be good now the other thing I want to do is I wanted to show you our first component that we're going to talk about is the contacts component he uses it in his site so we're going to do it too now first thing we'll need to do is for our contacts, we'll need to select a category. That's what he does. He hits new and he says uh, site administrators or something like that, right? Or something like that. You could say here, um, you could just call it contacts if you wanted, right? You know, or company contacts, right? and hit save right and then oh descriptions I'm gonna click on this category again if you wanted to put a description you could put the description here like uh, please contact us for more information so there's a description right associated with this category in our contacts component. Alright, so now we have one 
category. Now we're in the components, contacts, categories here. So now I'll create a contact. So component, contacts, contact, and click new, and I'll call it um, contact or contact us, something like that, and then category, company contacts. You have to pick the category, right? And then you can put contacts position, um, company contact, put their email, some name at something.com, their address, 333, P.O. Box, right, town, somewhere, state, let's say California, so on and so forth, right? You could put their t phone number and um, hit save and now on the front page of the site now we have a well we have nothing on the front page of the site but now we have a contact and we have the category contact us so now to make this show up on the front page of the site I will go to the main menu and I will hit new and this time I'm going to go to contacts and I'm going to go to standard contact layout and I'll say contact us as the name of the menu link and then it's the only contact so it shows up here and select content and I'll hit save and now on the home page of the site you'll see there it is the last link I click on it and we have a contact right here and all you'd have to do is fill in your name, email address, subject, your message, and hit send, and you would send that person a contact. You can see that some of the things that we put in here, like our address, our description, our phone number, are showing up here right at the top. And if you wanted to edit that, all you would have to do is change the menu item, um, or not the menu item, rather, close. But if you actually went to the contacts, you could change the contact here and decide which items you want to show or hide here, which parameters, and then fill in the information over here that you want to show for this contact, including a picture and all kinds of things. In the next video, I'll show you how to add the last component to finish off your site up to this point.